Well, we've been telling you recently about the bizarre cases of birds dying in mass. And when you look for answers, you find everything from alcohol to poison to the magnetic polar shifts of the Earth. In other words, no one really knows. But this evening here at RT, we're getting some new information about this. I just spoke to Colleen Thomas from Roseville, California. Colleen is a home health administrator turned physicist who specializes in the science of creation. She's also part of a race of good aliens who reside right here on Earth called the Pleiadians. Here's part of our conversation. Uh, the official story that was released from Pine Bluff, Arkansas, was that the, the, the plane, the KC-747, uh, that, that flew out of uh, Little Rock, Arkansas, had a computer malfunction that caused the spraying. Uh, it sprayed along the Arkansas River and up the I-40 corridor, corridor, and they do admit that that's what happened. Uh, but I've talked to independent people who said they've had these birds tested and they weren't positive for phosgene, which to me they wouldn't be because once phosgene meets with any kind of a fluid, it turns into a, a nondescript acid. So it doesn't surprise me that, that, that they're not finding evidence of phosgene because it breaks down so easily and so quickly in, in liquid. And as you mentioned, I mean, these birds were found everywhere from Arizona to Arkansas. Um, right. I'm wondering what you say to those people who say, you know, uh, you know, there's a lot of people here on Earth, not Pleiadians, but others. They say, you know, the world is going to end in May. No. They say we've got five more months and that's what this, these birds are all about. What's your response to those people? Well, we are under attack, but we do know who's attacking us. Uh, the Evergreen International Aviation Company is an arm of the CIA. It's a private industry with these, with these wide-body jets for spraying, ostensibly for spraying fire retardants over fires, but uh, they're, doing, they're spraying a lot more than that right now. They have 100 bases across, uh, our, I think, our country, 4,500 employees. Uh, this is owned by a guy named Delford Smith, who is in collusion with the CIA. The evidence of that is also on the Morning Liberty Show website, morninglibertyshow.com. And, um, I mean, this is where all reporters need to go to get a clearinghouse of information, because this guy has been doing the hard, hard work, Mr. Robert Hinder. And I know, Colleen, that you have a YouTube channel, and you said that uh, some of this information that you've been gathering has been coming in um, through some of your contacts. Are you hearing this from a lot of people, or is this just yes. one or two people yes. uh, telling yes. you this? My phone blows up almost 24-7, people calling me, not only from all over America, but from Holland, from Ireland, from, from uh, Germany, and in, in Asian countries as well. This is a global attack. We are under a global attack right now, and it's serious. So and why we aren't we seeing this more, you know, when we turn on the TV? Why aren't more people talking about this? Well, realize that the media is owned by concerns that are connected and in favor with the UN and the New World Order. So that's why we're not hearing about it. That information is being cleaned from the public eye. What is your hope uh, in terms of coming on and talking to us about this? What, what do you think people should absolutely be aware of? They need to be aware that uh, protecting their body and their health is actually very simple. Uh, this is an acid like any other acid, so it takes something basic into your body like a baking soda and water. An Epsom salt bath will leach these acids out through your skin. You can rid yourself of the symptoms of this hacking cough and the internal upset. When they swallow this stuff, they get nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and internal bleeding, and everybody's being misdiagnosed and sent home including people with Morgellons disease, which is the fibers from the chem spraying that's been going on for at least 10 years. But what so, about the birds? I mean, if we gave them baking soda and water, could they have been saved? And not that fast. They're too small. The dose was too heavy, or they were hit with microwaves and killed instantly by harp. Whatever, whatever the cause was for them, they're too little. They're like the canary in the, go in, in the coal mine. They're the warning that, that we're being poisoned to death. But, but we're taking in a little bit every day. The places that are being sprayed are being sprayed daily, daily. These chemtrails, these fog trails, they're everywhere. And you can smell it on the ground when you go out in the morning. Phosgene smells like fresh cut grass. If you've ever walked outside and it smelled like somebody just mowed the lawn, but yet the lawn hadn't been mowed and you were puzzled about that, or went out to, to, uh, to your cornfields and you're smelling hay like somebody just kept cut hay, that's phosgene. Do you think, Colleen, that the government is aware that you're, uh, you know, coming out and, and talking about these things? Yes, I have been harassed. Uh, my home was broken into. Uh, my ability to upload videos was, was uh, interfered with. Uh, they, they, they caused three panels. Uh, they, they affected three panels that bring uh, Internet into my home. Mine was the only one affected, and when, they, when my provider tried to get me back 
with a new ISP address because I was erased from their system. They couldn't even assign me a new address. So that, so that computer system had been hacked at Sure West as well. It was quite a sophisticated hit. Do you think but anyone that. cares that, I mean, in terms of the government, do you think they care that uh, they're hurting and killing these animals? No, the, no one realizes it's the human beings that are really the target, um, but so is the ecosystem. All of the natural gas uh, drilling, they're using a fracking fluid that dissolves solid, solid rock and allows methane to bubble up right through the, the groundwater and, and through the soil. That was Colleen Thomas, our contact with the Pleiadians.